Hey, today I want to talk about the junk in your trunk. And it begins with a theological idea of generational sin. Let's start with sin. In Greek, it's hamartia, meaning to miss the target. And of course, generational, meaning to pass from one generation to the next. So generational sin literally means passing from one generation to the next generation of how to miss the mark. So what junk have you packed away and stored up from your childhood? What generational sin or brokenness or missing the target have you not addressed in yourself? Guilt tripping, shaming, yelling, criticism, cold shouldering, passive aggressive behaviors, emotional manipulation, neglect, over expectations, perfectionism, legalism, self-hate, fearfulness, cynicism, sarcasm, and on and on and on it goes. Exodus chapter 34 says this, God speaking, I lay the sins of the parents upon their children and their grandchildren. The entire family is affected, even children in the third and fourth generations. Proverbs 22 puts it this way, Start children off the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Usually we use this verse in a positive way, but there is a shadow side to it as well. The basic premise of this passage is whatever familial, generational, or personal goodness or brokenness you expose your child to is what will follow them into their adulthood. What has followed you into your adulthood? Was it your grandparents' expectations that poured over your parents into your life and occasionally finds it spilling into your kid? Is it your dad's anger issues, your great-grandmother's guilt tripping? Was it an overly critical mom or older cousin's addiction? Or a brokenness and trauma that was birthed in your experience that's always tugging at your personhood, always taunting you to press it on your child, which will follow them into their adulthood? I want to give you five quick tips that could help you wrestle more intentionally with the junk in your trunk. Yucky is our five tip acronym that we'll work with. First is the why. The why is for you are not alone. You ain't the only one who's been through something. All of us bear some sort of scar or scuff from our generational and familial experiences. So don't feel alone in having to deal with your junk, but don't ignore it. The U is for understand it. Think critically through your life and your emotions. Be aware of your junk and know its particulars. Why do you do that thing you do? What inside you drives you to engage that way? Does it hurt or harm your relationships, especially the ones with your partner or your child? And how does it make you feel when it kicks in? The C is from James chapter five, where James suggests that we confess our sins to each other and pray for each other so that we may be healed. Oh, there's such a profound point in this text to confess to each other, to admit our brokenness to each other, own it, make it known to a friend, talk with your partner, have a conversation with your children, find support for it. But nothing changes unless you are willing to confess and be transparent about it. And when it rears its ugly head to your kids, it's okay to say sorry and confess it. Don't blame it on anyone else. Don't try to sidestep or make excuses. Confess, apologize, and try to move forward. This is what we do if we want healing to begin. The K is for keeping safeguards to help you. Keeping safeguards, like talking with your partner so that when you're going through something, you can share that with them. Or having a friend or friends to talk through the process while you're being triggered. Empower your kids to share with you when they're feeling encroached or pressed upon. Get counseling. Counseling is such a powerful and good thing. Finally, the why is for Yahweh. You don't have to be afraid of parenting or afraid of passing something on to your children or even afraid of your past. God is the God of the universe, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, and He's got your back. He can do immeasurably more than you ask or imagine, and He's making you a beautiful testimony for the world to reflect on. 
every morning there's a fresh set of mercies awaiting you. Every day, God begins a new work of creation in you again. So as you face generational brokenness and missing that target and having to deal with it as an adult and as a parent, trust that Yahweh has your back. The why is you are not alone. The you is to understand that generational brokenness. The C is to confess your brokenness to each other and pray. The K is to keep safeguards. And finally, the Y is for Yahweh. Don't forget, God's got your back. You don't have to worry about all that junk in your trunk if you're willing to follow through the good work and letting God do a new thing in you. Let's pray. God, as you look upon our life and see our generational brokenness, you see our issues and our shortcomings, I pray that you would bless us with a new set of mercies every morning, that you remind us that you are doing a new thing in us, that we are willing to confess to that brokenness, to give it to you, and to safeguard ourselves and our children of passing it into their adulthood. Bless us now as we move forward into a new day. We praise the name of Jesus. Amen. See you tomorrow.